first of all, we don't have any sexual tension. We're completely asexual. You know, I, I always tell guys it's, it's time to come out of the closet as a as a heterosexual. You know, <laughs> come out of the closet to, to demonstrate your you, you have this energy. Our sexual nature is what we've been we've been hiding our whole lives because we're afraid of it. And we're afraid the world will see something and, and judge us or, or see, see something toxic in it or bad in it. Welcome to the Attractive Man Podcast, where we help men become better men. In these episodes, you'll discover how to improve your dating and relationships, how to break through your mental limits that are holding you back, and how to move through life with confidence and purpose. You're one of the most inspiring guys to me in this, I guess I don't want to take away from it calling it an industry, but in this uh, realm, because you really teach the guys uh, out there the, the authenticity in meeting women that a lot of other teachers are missing, right? Instead of say this to get her to like you, it's like be this man, be your authentic self because that's what she wants. Take the focus off of you and put it onto her because that's what she feels and responds to. Uh, so I, I want to start off by, by asking you because this is the biggest thing that's missing with especially a lot of guys who are starting and even intermediates and that's sexual tension. So Dan, uh, Dan uh, what's your definition of sexual tension and how do you recommend that guys start learning how to feel and create it? The sexual tension is 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 not a creepy energy or a a strong chauvinistic type of leering type of like staring at her boobs type of energy it's not that at all at all it's a i love it, it's it's the it's it's this i'm a man i recognize i'm a man i was born since i was very young i love the shape of a female body I love the, the feel of that. I love the smell of a woman. I like to look at women. I like to have that energy around me and I will not apologize for it. And so you have this, this, this embrace in your heart of who you are. That tension, we are breaking the tension uh, by doing a lot of fast talking. Talk, 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 impress, 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 joke, joke, joke. Hope you like me, hope you, hope you like me. Uh, who, who, you know, we have all this fast talking and we, we break the tension. And the greatest of the legendary, quote unquote, men who have women in their lives sit in tension. They will, they will say something strong and then they'll sit and they'll zip up their lip and they'll smile and just look at her until she breaks the tension, you know? When I'm dating women here, it's like, I, I speak Spanish like an eight-year-old. <laughs> and so it, it helped me become even better at my body language, at my feelings for the desire for her, the way that I look at her. And despite having a really limited ability to speak, there's still humor, there's still connection, there's still banter, there's still playfulness because it's all between the lines. And right. even if I say something that's nonsensical that I think makes sense, it's almost like she understands and is on the same page. And then from that attention, from that presence that I give her, she also returns the patience of hey he's trying <laughs> yeah i dated yeah. i dated a, a a lawyer um in the beginning of this year very beautiful <laughs> blonde girl i was actually on a, i was on a run and i i the, the photons right i saw her in a restaurant uh i, I don't know why but i just it, it, it was probably from like 40 feet away, but I just saw her and I felt her energy. And I was like, Oh my God, if, if she was on the sidewalk, I know I would talk to her. I'm not going to run in a restaurant <laughs> in, my, in my exercise clothes. Like, Hey, <laughs> be a little bit weird, but, uh, I'm running back down the hill and guess who's on the sidewalk. Right. And it's, she was with yeah. her friend. So I went right up to her. And as soon as I walked up to her, her friend looked at me and she just crossed the street because she knew what was happening. Because she, she absolutely knew why I was there. So she got out of the way um, and, you know, got, got her number. We had a great connection even just there uh, because I just felt the turn on in my body for her. And I, I remember I was a little bit nervous about going on the first date with her because I was like, this is a lawyer and she articulates the Spanish language at a very, very, very 
very advanced level. Um, and, and just on the dance floor is where my energy really comes out, where my turn on really comes out. And I create this like cocoon of appreciation and turn on around her. And she just, you know, she was like, oh, he's a white guy from Canada. He can't dance. And then <laughs> I showed her. But yeah, it's it's so important. And it's, it's, it's a big thing that guys are missing when you just look in her eyes and you can feel that pressure rise in your body. I remember the first time, in fact, that I, I felt sexual tension um, with a woman, and it was this this woman I was talking to and flirting with at this festival in Vancouver. This is when I really first learned and experienced it, um, and I remember just stepping into her, and and this energy rose in my body, and she was like. <sighs> I was like, and then after I just grabbed her and I just started making out with her and it was, it was beautiful. It was really, really powerful. And, and, and like you said, guys will never understand this until they've experienced it because we grow That's and we right. change through experience. Imagine that you in your life have an impact on a girl on that level. Imagine that some girl is thinking 20 years later about this guy, uh, about this guy that I met and then for five minutes and I can't stop thinking about it. He, he, what he gave me was such a beautiful, you know, imagine you're that angel for somebody else. Yep. And so, so that really, really set my heart in motion. Say, I, I want nothing less. I want, I want abundance. I want adoration. I want have, I want to have devotion to my girl. I want devotion in return. I don't want to have this. Uh, well, she didn't text me for three days. Should I text her now? I want to, I want to be excited. Yeah. She comes into my bed and I'm like trying to convince her. I don't want that. I want to her to be delighted. And, yep. and full of joy to be there because I am. Yes. I'm excited. You're, you, you, you know, you, you're in my bed, and or you're in my life, and I'm excited for that. And I don't want to hide it or be aloof or trying to pretend. I want full force, you know. And I want her to have that too. And when you have that in your life, when you have this great girl in your life who gives you that that full, full energy of adoration and devotion to you, so you can give it back, right? It's like it's what men are starving for. I'm not up on this this new social energy of we're all gender fluid. You know, I believe in men and women, you know? So, uh, you're a man, you love women. You like a heart shaped ass, you know, that's, that's, that's infused in you from your, from the creation of you. That was like born in you from your ancestors, you know, from your warrior ancestors, from all the cultures or, or the culture you're from, from all the history the centuries that came down to you, you know? Yeah. So, so first of all, be aware of it. And then, um, embrace that spirit and don't apologize. No more defending yourself and no more explaining and no more apologizing for your, for your desires as a man. You know, don't, don't apologize to anybody if you did not cause offense. No, I just, no, I didn't want you to, you know, like, like, like guys will say something, they'll say something kind of funny, you know, and, and a girl will go, well, what do you mean by that? You know, uh, and they're challenged and they go, no, what I meant, no, I was just trying to be funny. And they'd start explaining. They start defending themselves. Don't defend yourself. Don't explain yourself. She's just a girl. Yep. Speak your truth. Stand on this earth. If you gave no offense and you were just trying to be funny or energetic or whatever, and someone takes it wrong, that's not your responsibility, you know? So, so, so own that energy and your, and your sexual spirit. Start to really feel it and really be in love with the idea that you're a man and you love women and you like, and you, and you want to have this, the beloved in front of you. Yes. You want to have someone that you adore and she adores you and you want to have this uh, sexual experience with her. And, uh, you know, you want to have this abundance of experiences, for instance, right? The ones who challenge you like this, who do you think you are? You're in, I promise you, that girl likes you. Yep. If, if, if you have, if, if you, if you talk to a girl and she says, well, listen, you know, I'm not interested. I have a boyfriend. You know, she says it flat and plain and, and, and kind. She's telling you something and it's real. But if she goes, no, I have a boyfriend. No, she likes you and you're in. Yeah. Yeah. Always it's a hundred percent on that's, that's hundred percent on, you know, if they, if they're animated and loud when they, when they're challenging you, yeah, you're in and you can just calm, relax. Cause the girl likes you, you can do whatever you want. And if the girl's like saying it flat and quiet, no, listen, you need to understand. I'm not interested. I have a boyfriend. That's the difference. Absolutely. It's so funny. I mean, even when they're being like completely honest with you that they have a boyfriend, like I remember this one girl, the beautiful girl I approached in the subway in New York and I don't know what the hell came out of me, but it's very Zan Perion-esque. 
Uh, I said, I, I had to come and talk to you because you are a, a sparkling fountain of feminine energy and I just wanted to come and drink from you. And, and she was like, she was like, wow, um, I, have a, I have a boyfriend. And I was like, are you happy? She's like, yes. She said it right away, just like flat, but she was just like enamored and like looking me up and down. And I felt that it was genuine. And I was like, I don't want to steal her away from Yeah, of course not. No, that's real. And she told you in kind way, you know? Yeah. No problem there. It's, it's like so, some of our students take that as a rejection. Even what you're saying, like no. when they get animated and they're, they're like, they're like uh, challenging you, they think that's a rejection. And it's, it's so crazy how subtle women can be and also how obvious they can be through their subtleties, right? And this is what guys really got to yeah. learn to be able to pick up those signals and feel that sexual tension. Guys, if you like this content, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. All right, I'm gonna get a little weird right now so you remember. Woo -woo. <laughs> um, like the video, share it um, with all your brothers and make sure you hit that notifications bell because we're gonna have uh, several segments with Zan here um, and lots of other amazing guests on our podcast. Great discussion and of course, um, all the content you've always loved from the attractive man, the honest dating advice, no bullshit, no pickup -y stuff, the real <laughs> stuff, and more and more of the, the awesome vibration of seduction. So yeah, thanks for coming on, man. Really appreciate Excellent. it. Excellent, thanks guys. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. See you guys soon, huh?